from Hollywood, it's the Tom Mikey Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Here's another one of these stories. Let me make it clear that I believe that people who commit violent acts against others are to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I want you to know that the only extenuating circumstance for committing a violent act against another, in my opinion, should be self-defense. That means you are feeling physically threatened. Not emotionally threatened, not financially threatened. It's not something that you dreamed up. For example, there's somebody coming at you with a knife. Somebody coming at you with a gun. Somebody coming at you. All right, I'll buy it. You had to commit a violent act against somebody like that because it looked like they were going to commit a violent act against you. So before I read this story and give you my opinion about it, understand where I'm coming from. Violence is wrong. People who commit violent acts should be punished. Now, remember I just said that because in about 15 minutes, everybody hearing me say this now will forget I said it. They will misinterpret what I'm about to say. But I wanted to say it right at the beginning. Violence, bad. Violence, wrong. Violence, illegal, except in self-defense cases. That's it. Can I be any clearer? Commit a violent act, go to prison. Unless you can prove somebody was coming at you with a weapon. That's how I see it. Okay? Now, having said that, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again to all you women out there who think you're such smart asses and who say things like, I've decided who the father of my baby is going to be. It's going to be Brad. That's right, Brad. He's going to be the father of my baby whether he likes it or not. And then I'm going to make him live up to his responsibilities as a parent. Now, ladies, you have the freedom under the United States Constitution to do that. But you're an idiot. Because things happen. You never know who you're dealing with. Let's take this story from the Buffalo News. Buffalo, New York. Here it is. A pregnant woman was beaten this morning by a man who told her that he was going to, quote, make her lose that baby. According to Buffalo Police, the man, believed to be the father of the unborn child, is accused of repeatedly punching the woman in her head, face, and body. The woman suffered cuts, swelling, and bruising to her ear, face, and throat. It was unclear whether she was treated in the hospital, and the condition of the fetus was unknown. Central District Police said the assault occurred at about 1.15 a.m. at the woman's Hickory Street home. Here's what the man said. 
Police reported that the man told her, quote, that getting her pregnant was the worst thing that could happen to him. He also, according to police, threatened her and said, quote, he was going to make her lose that baby. And just to make sure no one else knocks her up, the man broke the woman's cell phone before leaving, according to police. Now, this woman's lucky to be alive. And who knows if the baby is alive. But you see, this is one of the possible outcomes. Life is not a reality show, and it's not the Maury Povich show, and it's not the Jerry Springer show with big security guards standing there with the word security on their T-shirts. You know what? In real life, when you say stuff like this, somebody might kill you. Somebody might beat you. Somebody might threaten you. Somebody might hurt you. This is a possible outcome. I will give my usual analogy so you will understand. Just as it is legal to get pregnant by any man you want, you can even lie and say that you, you're you on the pill when you're not. You can lie and say you would never have a baby if you got pregnant, and then you could get pregnant and say you're not having an abortion later on. Point is, that's legal to do. It is also legal for me to take my 2005 Lexus LS430 and drive it to the worst part of town, pull over at a 7-Eleven, and go in for a Slurpee while I leave the engine running. And I leave a CD playing in the 6-CD changer of my Mark Levinson audio system. So there's my car, $71,000 car when I purchased it, with the engine running and that kick-ass stereo system blasting. And I'm inside deciding if I want a cherry Slurpee or a Coca-Cola Slurpee. When I come out of the 7-Eleven, I look around and the car is gone. Is it illegal to steal cars? Yes. Do you have a right to park your car with the doors unlocked, the engine running, the windows open? You do. God bless America. Yes, you do have that right. Would it be an intelligent idea to drive that car to the highest crime area of the city and exercise your right to get out of the car with the engine running, the doors and windows open, the stereo blasting, go into the store? Come out 10 minutes later. It, uh, do, do you have the, the right to do that? Yes. Is that a good idea? No, you're a moron. You're an idiot. You're, you're just an idiot. And things happen when you're an idiot. All right? Seriously. So, ladies, you do have the right to tell a guy, well, I'm having your baby whether you like it or not. You don't like it tough. And by the way, you're going to live up to your responsibility. I expect you to support your baby. You can say that. It's a free country, ladies. But if you do something like that, you might end up like the broad in Buffalo who got beaten by her boyfriend. Now, there's some alliteration. The broad in Buffalo who got beaten by her boyfriend. By God. That's the kind of thing that can happen. That's the kind of thing that well, it won't happen all the time. It won't even happen on the, the, most of the time. But sometimes that could be the outcome. You could get killed. Illegal to kill somebody, of course. But it's stupid to just get knocked up by some guy and then expect him to take care of that baby it's stupid you know, uh, ladies why can't you just go to a to a uh, a sp you know a sperm donation place a uh, sperm bank a uh, a fertility clinic why can't you just go in there and 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 I tell everybody the reason why women don't go there because a petri dish can't pay child support 
That's why. Women want to get knocked up by guys who will pay. And the ugly flip side of this is stuff like what happened in Buffalo, where the pregnant woman gets beaten by her boyfriend and wanted to make her lose her baby. Am I wrong? Tom, 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 like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom, 800 866 Dude, you've given me the roadmap to go over the wall, get in my neighbor's yard, and get my testicles out of the tree. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. Uh, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. So, we talked about the uh, the one in Buffalo who was beaten to a bloody pulp, according to police, by a guy who uh, is believed to be the father of the unborn child, and he was uh, allegedly saying things like, Her getting pregnant was the worst thing that could happen to him. And he also allegedly said that he was, quote, going to make her lose that baby. This is what happens, ladies, when you say, you're going to step up to the plate. You're going to live up to your responsibility. You're going (sighs) to. You know, your chicks could just go to a sperm donation uh, center, a sperm bank. You could just go to a fertility clinic. But you won't do that, will you? 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, violence, even murder, is something that uh, could happen to you ladies if you decide to do that. Here's William on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Honestly, in my opinion, I think you're right. These women can go to the sperm banks and stuff like that, but I think they see it as, why should I take care of it when I can have some some other dude take care of it? That's Somebody right. Somebody else will take care of it. That's I mean, right. Honestly, me and my girlfriend are are having a child, but it's something we both planned out and wanted. It wait, 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 wait! You're 21. Why do you want that? I was raised. I didn't have a family growing up, so in a way, my way of thinking is, why not have a family to fill that void? But why do you need it now? Why couldn't you wait until you got your college education? Well, I got my college education. Really? I'm a registered veterinarian technician. So, uh, what college did you go to? I went to Pierce. Is that a college? Yes, it's a community college. Oh. It's a two-year program. Pow. You take your state license. You Why didn't you go to a real college and become a veterinarian? Or, uh, better yet, a doctor of human beings? Honestly, this is something I I, was, I just wanted to become a RVT. Because you didn't have any ambition? You were lazy. Part of it was that. Right. And you wanted to knock up your girlfriend. No, no, no. That, that had nothing to do with it. I dropped out of high school. I didn't get a GED or diploma. Why'd you do that? I had uh, bad living situations and stuff like that. I mean, I grew up in foster care for like 15 years. Right. So you decided that why should I be more successful than the morons who dumped me into foster care? Exactly. But I'm planning on going back to school again. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I'm I'm planning on, uh, um, on getting a boob job. Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. I I should have waited longer. I agree with what you. What was the big rush? Huh? What was what were you? What was your sense of urgency here? I just I just wanted to start my family. That was what it. was the rush? So the void that I had of not having a family. But but <laughs> couldn't wouldn't you be better off waiting until you had a career together? Until exactly, you had some money I'm, saved I'm to you. I'm agreeing with you. I should have waited till I finished up. So then the question is, why'd you do it? Why did you just wait until later? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. You don't know. You see, you did something this important, and the answer for why you did it is, I don't know. I did it because I wanted to start a family. Yeah, but, but why didn't you want to start a family when you could provide for them? Maybe never having been in a family, you don't understand how important it is to make a good living, to be able to pay the expenses of having a child. I make a good living. I make a good living. How much do you make? I make about 25 an hour. $25 an hour. How much is that per week? Uh, 
know, I work about six days a week, and I work about 10, 12-hour shifts. So you're, how much time are you going to have to spend with a child? Not much, but I mean, every... So it was very important to have a child and then not to have any time to spend with it. I mean, every second I have, I will spend with my child. That's but but how much time are you going to have? You work that many hours. Not not a whole lot. Well, then, what, again, wouldn't it have made sense to ha to to work long enough to to go to school to get the degree to 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 make enough money so you would also be able to to have time to spend with the child? Exactly. I, I'm I'm agreeing with you. That's what I'm telling you. I'm agreeing. All right. with you. But I, can you take me out uh, with that guy that killed his wife and called the cops? Freddie Wilhite style. Here you go. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me and she ridiculed me throughout my lifetime. I'll see if she's alive. She's alive? She's dead. I think she did. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here is Josh on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, this is Josh. I know I just said that. Yeah, well, <laughs> my apologies. Hey, uh, the first thing I need to say to you is that uh, I think you should be t in elementary schools. I, I think really by do. now this is the kind of information people need in elementary schools, uh, because that's when kids starting to fool around now. Yeah, well. See, here I am. I just found out about you, unfortunately. I have two kids from two different mothers. I'm paying $1,000 a month. I got one mother that I'm kind of cool with, but I got another mother that takes me to court on average every other 40, like every 45 days. So man. tell us why you did this. Because at one point in time, Tom, I believed in this fake-ass thing called love. <laughs> 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 yeah, can you That's that? quaint. Love. Yeah, I know. What a yeah. maroon. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, and here I am. I'm sitting on my sailboat, and uh, I live on a sailboat, and I just I enjoy your show. That's because you day. can't afford an apartment. Yeah, pretty much. That, uh -huh. That's just about it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm spending all my money on child support. And, and let me tell you this, Tom. I'm an iron worker. I have great insurance. I have my youngest baby on my insurance. But my baby's mom just took me to court two weeks ago to make me pay for half of my baby's insurance according to her work. Now, here's the best part, Tom. Uh, I had my baby last weekend, and you know what my baby told me? He, he's four years old, so he can speak and everything. And he said, hey, my mommy and Chris are buying a new Jeep. So, Tom, guess who's paying the car note? Oh, I know who's paying the car note. <laughs> I know I'm telling you a bunch of things that are obvious right now, but I'm finally getting plumbed up in my life, and it's just a little too late, ain't it? Well, uh, you know, I would imagine the closer you get to that three-mile limit, the more tempted you are to just cross it and uh, just uh, sail away forever. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to do that, but unfortunately, you know, once once I had my children, I I fell in love with them, and, you know, now I just got to do what I got to do in order to spend some time with them, you know? Yeah. So You got to spend every penny you've got. Yeah, that's right. It, hey, I guess if there's any kind of upside, I have four more years left with one and 14 with the other. <laughs> oh. So, Tom, will you do me a favor? Just kill me. Kill me. If there's, if there's ever anybody that deserves to be blown up on your show, it's me. Well, wow, there's no doubt about that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Jesus Christ. Uh, this is Jim on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Great. All right, uh, I just had a comment on uh, that piece you read earlier. Uh, it just seems to me, you know, it's kind of simple to me. Uh, you have two stupid people, and that's what stupid people do. Well, uh, we hear them on this show all the time. Stupid people. Well, I'm 19, and I'm going to community college now because I really got rejected at ITT Technical Institute, so I'm going to community college, and, <laughs> and then I'm going to go work at uh, Payless. I'm going to be the assistant manager over there. And, uh, I make $10 an hour, Tom. I make really good money. 
Yeah, yeah, but they might be a little more ethical. My than, baby's uh, going to know who his daddy is. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Daddy's a loser. That's what the baby's going to know. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully he doesn't have brain damage. Hopefully. Uh, that, that's pretty much all I got. It just seems like a case of, uh, you know, you got her doing her normal thing that you talk about all the time, and it's uh, she's one of those people. And then, of course, you know, the guy is just a, a freaking numbskull. And, you know, he just, if, if it were me, and I had a decent job and she was doing this to me, I wouldn't go that far. I would go as far as to get a less decent job and make her and make her have to support in one way many, or another. Many, ma many right, men do that. They'd hurt themselves in order to hurt the other person. Uh, believe me, I know. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Billy is listening to the online stream from San Diego, a city where they took our show off the air and replaced us with a low-rated chick format that still hasn't gotten any ratings. Billy, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That, that station took a real dive. Yeah, it took a real dive. Yeah, we were drawing 1,500 people at an appearance, and... Uh, uh, the uh, program director of the new format uh, uh, said some negative things about me, saying, well, you know, he drew 1,500 people, but what are we supposed to do with that? You know, well, uh, believe me, you're not going to draw 1,500 with this lousy format, pal. I'll tell you right now. Hey, you're not kidding. So, anyway. Uh, Tom, I knew this girl. Uh, she had uh, had a kid with this with this guy. And uh, they didn't get married, and, and she ended up taking him to court and, you know, taking him for everything he got. And she took his driver's license away and everything like that. Well, this dumbass ended up getting getting together with her again and having another kid. And uh, when she refused to have an abortion, he uh, took her out, showed up at her, at, at her work, and uh, killed her. Wow. So that she sure taught him a lesson. What's that? She sure taught him a lesson. Holy cow. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, that's our telephone number. Here's Rex on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Rex. How you doing? Yeah, I, I heard about uh, what this guy did uh about uh threatening uh, that uh woman uh well beating her or whatever. I didn't beat this woman, but I took her to um, a restaurant after finding out that she got pregnant, after we discussed about how uh, she may get pregnant if, uh, you know, we did it all the way. And she said, no, I'm older. I, don't, I can't get pregnant. And I said, all right. So in any case, she gets pregnant. And uh, so I take her to this restaurant, give her some drink. And take her out into the parking lot and then put her in a headlock. I grab her. I have her bounce up and down on the parking lot, feet up in the air. And, uh, you know, no scars, no nothing, nice and easy, you know. Bounce to around, and I said, you're getting rid of this child. I'm not paying for anything. Word and behold, a week later, she got the abortion. Simple as that. Well, you're lucky you didn't go to jail for that. Well, yeah, but I don't know. What can I say? I, um, I'm not going to have any child if I'm not married to uh, the woman. And uh, see, I don't, I don't agree with doing that. Uh, it's criminal and deserves punishment. But I say to all the women out there, you hear what Rex is saying? There are men who think like this, ladies. So before you go to a man and say, you know, you let the other talk about you, that, that. Remember, there's guys like that who are going to put you in a headlock, for God's sake. Tom. Like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. So for you, you only get from woman you sex, and that's it. Yes, because that's what women are good for. Oh, my God. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. 
1-800-5800-TOM. That's your telephone number. We're talking about the babe in Buffalo beaten by her boyfriend. She had a bun in the oven. There's no B word for an oven. Try to do a alliteration here. Anyway, when you go to a guy and you say, You're gonna you're gonna be the father of that that you're gonna live up to your responsibility. You might get beaten, you might get killed. You think this is a smart idea, ladies? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, that's our telephone number. Tamara, you're on the Tom Like a show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello. <laughs> it's so exciting talking to you on the radio like this. Hold on, let me get my voice a little little lower and Okay, more good. Sexy. Okay, um, yes, Tom, this is a very serious subject you're talking about today, and I'm really glad you brought it up. Um, that caller Rex that just called in a little while ago, um, he's a criminal, and I'm appalled to hear anything like this coming from a man. I guess I'm naive. Um, well, it, it proves my point. I like it or not, that that's how some guys think. Correct, yeah. And um, it's just an eye-opener, and I want to... Thank you for this show today because it really it opens up my eyes and it lets women know that there are guys out there that if they they feel threatened, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna cause you physical harm. Well, I know as a guy, uh, now I'm not a violent individual. Right, right. Uh, I have other passive aggressive ways of behaving uh, that do not involve violence, uh, but uh, I can tell you that my worst nightmare. And I woke up in a cold sweat more than once. Is that a woman called me up and says, I'm pregnant and I'm having the baby. And that, that, you're going to step up to the plate or that, 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 I'm going to get a lawyer. That, that. I mean, I've had this dream thousands of times. Wow. And, uh, and it's because it really does happen to people. That's incredible. And so, you know, take a guy who's just a guy. And, 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 and a guy maybe who reacts sometimes to threats with violence. And that's a very volatile mix. Yeah. Sure, okay. what he's doing is illegal. Yes, he should be in prison. Right. But just like when I drive my car down to a bad neighborhood, I lock it. I don't open it up and go into the 7-Eleven. Right. Well, that's just appalling, but I'm glad he called in, and it's uh, just more awareness for the ladies out there, and um, I want to thank you for that, so appreciate it. Can you blow me up? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Julie on the Tom Likas Show. Julie, I'm fine. I just wanted to say... This guy is a total joke. He couldn't discuss holding down a job, let alone discuss what was what happened after if he so called got her pregnant. Yeah, right. What? Oh, if I get you pregnant, I'm going to just happen to have to kill you. I don't think so. Well, well, darling, people do it whether you think they should do well, it or not. You know what? He's a joke. He couldn't even discuss holding down a job, let alone... Again, like, you know, down. again, you're a typical mouthy broad. You're oh, exactly yeah, the you cut. You're exactly the type that. who's going to get nailed. The fact is, down. this, if, but just like I, just like I made the analogy about my car being parked in a bad neighborhood with the engine running, the door's yeah. unlocked. Yeah. It's yeah. the same yeah. thing. You have a right to do that, but you'd be an idiot. And I don't care how oh, much of a right you. you think women have to get knocked up and then hit guys up with the bill. The yeah. fact okay. is, women okay. who do this run the risk of We're getting in killed. We're in it for the fun. We're in it for the fun. And if he slips, he's going to have a discussion. Darling, there are women who are not just in it for the fun. They want to get knocked up. I hear from them all. I've had enough. I'm not going to. It's like listening to a a recording. Like there's not even a person there. It just keeps going and going and going. Uh, 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's up, Tom? Uh, The ratings last I looked. Yeah, that's what I like to hear, man. Yeah. 
All right, so somebody told me that you got married to a supermodel. Is this true? No. No? No. All right, that's my man. That's Tom. that's that's Howard Stern who's talking about doing that. Really? Nah, someone said that Tom Likas got married to a supermodel. I was like, no way, man. No. Tom. No, the, the supermodel part makes sense, not the married part. Yeah, right on. <laughs> cool, Tom. So, hey, what do you think about Obama, man? We're not talking about that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Melinda on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Uh, so I am by no means a fan of women who get knocked up to get money or get guys or screw the system. Uh, my question is, is how come you're not getting down on the guys for not wearing condoms? I have done that. No. Yeah, you know, oh, I, okay. I, this is not, you know what, uh, after a while you have to assume that people have a certain level of intelligence. Uh, repeating the same warnings to people over and over that they ignore anyway, it, 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 this is not my problem anymore. No, if no, people no. aren't I, going I to do that. it. If people are going to do it, they're going to do it. But by the way, condoms are also a backup system. They should never be the primary form of birth control, ever. But don't you think a guy should wear one 100% of the time? If yes, but I also think that okay. women should use birth control 100% of the time. And that women who won't use birth control and with their flimsy excuses for not using it, what, the reality is whether they can admit it to themselves or not, they want to have babies. No, I agree with you on that one, and 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 I appreciate you. you know, Any woman who says I'm allergic to the pill, it makes me gain weight, uh, it makes me irritable, I have a rash. Beep, 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 you know, there's a, there's eleven different forms of birth control, and no. and they're not. Or you can't be allergic to all eleven. You can't. No, hey, I agree with you, Tom. I appreciate you pushing the condom thing, and you're my dirty little secret. I gotta let you know. Oh, I can be <laughs> a lot dirtier. Thanks, Tom. Take Thank care. you. <laughs> One eight hundred five. Give me a chance. I can get dirtier than that. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. That's our telephone number. Karina on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Did I wake you? No, no. I'm at work right now. Oh. Okay, uh, Tom. I know probably this is not the topic, but I've been wanting to get through you. And well, if it's not the topic, why are we talking about? It? Well. It it's about women, you know, successful women, that I want to know... Well, that's really not what the topic is. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to ask... Unless they are pregnant successful women, and then we could shoehorn it in. No, no. That wasn't it. But um, thank you for... You do know we have a topic going here. Yes, yes, of course I do. So you decided to ignore, despite my years of experience in deciding what people are interested in, you no, decided... Like, let, let, let's say you were downtown and you got on a bus. Right. Not that anybody in Southern California would do that if they didn't have to. All right, so you get on the bus. Everybody is on the bus, and let's say you're in the South Bay where you are now, and let's say that the bus is heading to Santa Monica. Okay. So you get on the bus, and you said, all right, everybody, we're going to Hollywood. <laughs> no, no. Do you, how do you think the people on the bus would feel? Yeah, I understand. They'd probably physically attack you, like the listeners would do now if I let you go on and change the subject. No, and it's fine. I guess I'll just try again later on. But you do understand, when I set up yeah. the topic and I tell you what the topic is, that's like when the bus has the destination on the front there. If you don't want to go where that bus is going, don't get on the bus. Yeah, you're right. It was my first time calling. Sorry about It that. shows. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. It's like a goddamn mutiny around here. Well, I know this isn't on the topic. So get, get F you. It's going to be on the topic or you're getting off the air. I'm the boss here. I got big brass balls. I'm in charge of this ship. F you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Kelly on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. I totally agree with you. I was a little hesitant to call, but I totally agree with you. Too many women are doing this. Getting pregnant on purpose, tying the guy in, it's ridiculous. I know a lot of women who've done it. It's a joke. They and and not up. realizing the risk they're taking. I'm sorry? 
and not realizing the risk they're taking. Exactly. I mean, how many of these women fall in love with the wrong guy? They fall in love with jerks. They fall in love with guys who are violent. They fall in love with guys who are who have anger management problems, whatever. Oh, yeah. And I've seen the kids struggle because... You know, absent parent. There's no other parent. Oh, these the parents... women, these women who want to have kids, they don't give a rat's ass about the kids. It's about no, their no, no. own the, experience the having babies. The, the father's not there, right? But, but the these women don't care there. about, you don't understand, these women who want to have kids don't care about the kids themselves. They care about having the experience of having a baby. They want to have a baby shower. They, they're attention whores. They want everybody to go, ooh, what do you have with your baby? What do you do? Oh, you look so good. I can't believe you're pregnant. Blah, 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 blah. Then they have the baby, and they don't give a rat's ass about the end product. Nope, they don't. I totally agree with you. Please continue to do your work. Thank Very you. positive for the men out there. Please, men, listen. Listen. Tie yourselves up. Go put a condom on. Pay attention. Women are sick. They will do it to you. They will tie you in, lock you down. Please pay attention to what this man is saying. He's totally right. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Sarah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Um, I just kind of wanted to call. There's there's a guy right now um, in jail in San Diego and the alleged crime that's real real possible is that he murdered his ex-girlfriend by strangle, 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 strangled her. Strangulation. And, yeah, and also strangled the baby. Um, he didn't want to, he didn't want to be responsible for it. And I think all I wanted to say is that women de- need to really think about who they're sleeping with and... You know, just one night stands can be really great, but think about who you're going to bed with and the possibility of what, you know, what could happen. Well, I say if you're opposed to abortion or if you Uh, want, if or no, no, I'm not saying you, I'm saying if you're a woman who is opposed to abortion or you are a woman who is anxious to get pregnant, one night stand should be out. Yeah, yeah, you need to really know the man because... Um, you just need to know the father. If you if you want to, you know, I, sex. I don't know. It's just it's a really horrid thing that's happened. And this woman lost her life, and this baby was also strangled. And he's in he's in jail right now, awaiting trial. And I have like a little bit more knowledge about it. And it's just think about who you're sleeping with because. That baby that could come with that unprotected sex, um, <laughs> there's a lot more to it. There's a lifetime and, and not like that guy earlier, Rex, that called that felt it was important to take the girl out and hang her upside down and dump it into her. Um, be aware of people, just like guys should be aware of who they're sleeping with. Women should really be aware of who they're sleeping with. Well, and certainly who you're having a baby with. Essentially, you're taking on a new business partner there. Steve, I have a minute left. Hello. Hello, Tom. It's a long time, first time. Uh, well, I'm 34 years old. I, uh, uh, the girl I'm with, she's pregnant. Uh, I don't want it. She does. And I want to get rid of it. If I could find a way of getting rid of it, I would. And uh, earlier I heard this guy calling that, uh, that he, um, yeah, you know, he took got his got his old lady in a headlock and got rid of the baby, whatever. Oh, well, you know, that's that's he ain't the only one. I mean, a lot of guys think like that. Just a lot of guys don't do it because they don't want to lose what they got. But that's I'm just that's I'm one of those guys. I mean, if I could find a way to get rid of it, I will. Cause she will. And uh, that means what? How far would you go? Well, it depends how much I'm gonna lose. You know, I mean. uh I mean, it really, it really matters if it's worth it, you know? It's- oh, my God! The Tom Likas Show.